When the coalition government first announced that it was going to actually consider introducing plain packaging back in 2012, it promised us all that it would deliver evidence-based policy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have the evidence. It's called Australia. And the plain packaging was introduced there, as you probably know, in the 1st of December 2012. And the facts, ladies and gentlemen, show that plain packaging has not reduced the uptake of smoking, nor has it reduced smoking rates amongst adults. Fact. According to the Australian Institute for Health and Welfare, youth smoking rates increased 36% in the period 2010 to 2013. Fact. Research agency RMR found that smoking rates were up by nearly 2% across 2013 after the plain packaging was introduced. The Australian Bureau of Statistics backs this up. Fact. There was a rise in the, in the sale of cigarettes across the first three quarters of 2013. Tobacco sales only fell after a 12.5% rise in tobacco tax that was hiked in uh, December 2013. Fact. Three of the six states in Australia, Queensland, South Australia and New South Wales, have all independently reported no decline or an actual rise in smoking since the introduction of plain packaging. Fact. The black market in tobacco is booming in Australia. It's experiencing a 25% increase in illicit trade since the introduction of plain packaging. What more evidence, what many more facts do MPs really need, I ask? In this parliament, the government has already introduced a display ban on tobacco designed to deter youth smoking. Has the impact of these legislation been assessed? No. So why the rush to yet more legislation? Let's not forget, next year we see the introduction of the EU's Tobacco Products Directive, more gold plating from the UK on EU legislation. I urge all MPs voting on plain packaging to consider the facts, not the wishful think fiction of state-funded lobby groups and not the self-serving dreams of white-heel bureaucrats. Please, MPs, stick to the facts. Vote no. Stop the nonsense.